Good morning everybody and welcome back to Felsbrunn. So you join me here and basically what we're going to be doing is maintaining our two fields. We have two fields so 50% of our farm is over at each one which isn't a very big farm obviously but we are continually expanding and we are hoping to be a very productive farm. Now you will notice if you look at the top right hand corner of the screen that the money has gone down quite a bit. There is a, a big reason for this and I'm about to explain the reason why. Basically I've bought all the machinery that I believe to be necessary in keeping this farm productive as an arable farm. So the first thing is the vehicle workshop just here. Instead of paying a mechanic every single time we want to change the wheels, I have decided just to buy the building with the tools and do it ourselves. It wouldn't even take that many times to pay for itself. Um, so I just thought that was a necessity. You can't really have a farm without a workshop. So we then have we then have the sprayer. I've gone for the Hardy. Whoa, it's bright. The Hardy Mega. 2200 which actually is a very big sprayer and obviously it's capable of um, spraying herbicide and liquid fertilizer it's currently almost full of liquid fertilizer now we don't have to spray fill number 20 over there because that's already done I I'm guessing because we planned the sugar beet in but the field over the far side for 25 does need to be fertilized we also have the forklift which I showed you in the previous video now quite a few people mentioned this they said why on earth did you buy it if you have a front loader? Well I have a very good answer for this and this is my reason basically if we had both of our two tractors working these two uh, which we have done in all of this series in fact one on the cultivator one on the drill it would mean that this tractor the front loader tractor would not be able to go and fetch more seed from the farm or from the store since it would be busy and it would mean taking it off its job to then go and to pick up the, uh, the seed or the fertilizer or whatever it may be the liquid fertilizer maybe for a sprayer so it would be more productive to have a forklift which is just always on hand with the product that we require in the field so there you go that's my reason um, <laughs> I don't know if you like my reason but it's it's a perfectly good one in my opinion and also a lot of people wanted to just see the forklift anyway so it was a good opportunity to showcase it so here is our field this is field number 20 and it's looking weed free totally fertilized so very healthy get out of my crop away with you yes you do not want to uh, get on the wrong side of Dagawin the farmer mm. please note not a real farmer hello First of all today what we're going to do is take the forklift out. I know it isn't technically uh, registered for the road, but it doesn't matter. We're just going down to the store and we're going to pick up my fairly heavy pallet of pesticide. Or herbicide, sorry. Um, it is very heavy. In fact, I think it weighs two tons, which is probably a bit much for our Matty Ferguson anyway, especially as we don't have a rear weight. So, yeah, we'll use the forklift, which is already counterbalanced and we'll bring it back to the farm. I've had many people say, can you buy a John Deere tractor? And my answer to that is yes, it might not be for a while. Uh, Ravenport will be buying loads of stuff because there's no restriction of money um, for my Let's Plays. I'm not gonna restrict myself on that series, but for the Felsbrunn series, I'm going to make sure I do everything properly. So we have to earn the money first. Am I picking this up from the wrong side? Maybe so, but there it is. go tilt it back a bit and yes it's more than capable of transporting this amount of weight so back over to the farm and we'll put it into storage I must remember the beacon beacon is good but you don't need me to tell you that because there is another youtuber called stocker gloss and he will he will definitely tell you that the beacon is good so where to put this I need to well actually maybe in the workshop in here well it's not really a workshop it's just like a garage although this is where I was going to put the gator and it maybe isn't maybe isn't the best place to have uh, 2,000 litres of herbicide um, I'll put it here for now but obviously the, the sprayer can't reach it we'd have to get it out again with the forklift I guess we've got some other drums in here or something now to level this off do that and hopefully come back out. 
There we go. Right. Being conscious not to lift that up too high, otherwise it would go through the roof. As you can tell by the look on our face, we are very pleased with our achievement. Done. Okay, so our fields are both growing now. It's all looking very good. We do have one very small section of weeds on the top field, which does require herbicide, but unfortunately the sprayer is currently filled with um, chemical, sorry, with um, fertilizer, so we can't actually do that. So, yeah, that's just going to have to stay as it is. It's a very, very small sliver of the field, so it's, it's no loss. My dog has gone inside. Hello. What are you doing? Mr. Sniff, which I thought was a very good name. Uh, the other two highly requested names were Doggerwin or something, and also Dagger. Um, I personally like Mr. Get off the furniture. Sorry, to lose my temper, though. Mr. Sniff. Whew. If he is even called Mr. Sniff, oh, and if he is even a he. Now, I don't think we're that far off harvesting. Obviously, we're getting through things relatively quickly here, as we have to, to turn a profit. But I'm hoping that, it, yeah, we should be able to harvest field number 20 at the end of today, hopefully. Um, oh, that was rough. In the meantime, we'll just keep checking up on the fields, making sure there's no weeds, but we'll do some contracting. I have had some requests to do contracting, I think it was fertilising and seeding and I would like to do some harvesting too with some bigger John Deere equipment so yeah we're going to take a look at the contracting list momentarily but yeah first of all we'll check up on the field to make sure there's no weeds uh, with the exception of the sliver which I mentioned before. Our neighbouring farm has a good crop of canola. So that is the slither I mentioned, it's actually ready but it has weeds in it, the rest of it I have done with the weeder. Um, off screen so yeah that is all finished I'll do some weeding on screen as well but yes I'll, I'll do that in a future video so it is oats and it's not oh, it's not fertilized blimey it's not fertilized we must get the the tractor into here now I've had to turn off crop destruction just briefly um, because I, I can't get into the store to change the the, the tires over to narrow tires um, I have reported the problem to Giants. They do seem to get back to me very quickly and sort things out, so by release it should be done. Okay, so yes, we have 1,892 litres of fertiliser. I reckon this tractor is really the perfect tractor for this job. I used the same tractor, I think it was anyway, on 17, and I also had it set up with the narrow tyres, and it actually was, uh, to me, a really good tractor for doing the fertilizing with so or, or the spraying with I should say yes I'm gonna go with it and the Massey Ferguson can stay our tractor for doing cultivation front loader work basically anything it's, it's just an odd job tractor it can do nearly anything within reason not towing a massive grain cart okay so let's get this field sprayed I think the first section might be done I have to check the map um, Fertilizing, fertilizing, and uh, 20 is done, 25 needs plowing and totally needs spraying. Oh, my boom is across the road. <laughs> Any cars waiting? No, that was lucky. Okay. Go. We are spraying. Oh, bit low. That, yes, if you have the boom too low, you've got foliage bending there, it's actually dragging through the crop so we need to raise that right up to make sure we're not either damaging the nozzles or damaging the crop so we'll keep going with this and then we'll do some contracting finished. I'll check the fertilizing map again at the end just to make sure I have covered everything. Uh, that's when if you've got crop destruction on and you're producing tram lines it would actually make it easier to 
see where you've been, and to stay in line. Going straight across the road with my boom. Uh, yep, final piece. And then we're going to fold it up, put it back into storage. Yeah, I thought the um, fertilizer was expensive, but it actually does go quite a long way. The same with the herbicide. Okay, so, <laughs> how have I done? Ah, so it looks like, because that was already grown, it won't take the fertilizer. So we, we should come back here again if we can do, before it's totally ripe. Um, although, yes, it looks like it is the second to last growth stage, and it might not be possible to spray it again. Right, dare I overtake? I think I will do. We're going for the overtake. There we go. Might as well stay on this side of the road now. We are turning left. Right. Um, best place for this. We are actually full. It is totally full. If I had a rearrange, I could fit it in where the gator is. I reverse this back. The gator doesn't necessarily have to have its own designated area. We could just park it anywhere. Alright, there we go. Now for some contracting. Okay, so what do we have? We've got some harvesting with a Massey Ferguson. We've got some sowing with a John Deere. Harvesting, transporting, sowing, sowing, transporting, and sowing. So currently no harvesting with the John Deere. I do want to try it with the brands too, but yes, I want to show off the John Deere's as well. We do have some sowing though with this John Deere tractor. Now we could use our own tractor, but I want to use the John Deere for this and we still get paid a lot of money anyway so we only lose 520 pounds which is a lot of money but then again we get to use the John Deere so let's lease these items and we'll start the mission it is field 27 and she wants oats putting in there so it's going to be over at the store here it is the 6230R oh yes also we get to use a bigger drill let's get it hitched on uh, yes, yeah, so it's the Horsch Pronto 9, I think. Um, let's just locate the field. She is actually one of our neighbours. Going up the same road again. In fact, just opposite our farm. It's very close to us. That doesn't have any seed in it. Do we have any seed at the farm? I don't think so. No, I don't think we do. But she will reimburse us for the seed. At least we got reimbursed for the fertiliser in the previous job. One should be plenty. There we go. Uh, it doesn't mention fertiliser. So I'm assuming we, we don't need to put fertiliser in. I'll do it without and just see what happens. We might get a reduced fee. Reduced uh, uh, reward, I should say. Okay. Oh, lorry. Oh, it's turning off anyway. Good. So here we are, in our John Deere. We are driving our John Deere. Or somebody else's John Deere. So her field must be just up here. I think it's the one we see in front of us. Directly in front. It would make sense since it is only cultivated and we have the drill. I'll have to check though, otherwise we might start drilling somebody else's field with oats. Yes it is, okay. And it's actually um, not selected the crop type, so we'll have to do that ourselves. There's birds on this field too. Right, so it's it's that big, it's not, it's not a huge field. There we go. And we're off. Yes, I don't know if it's enough seed, but we can just go back for more. I would prefer to put less in than more because then we, we could technically be wasting money. So there he goes, the John Deere is off. I 
have a question for myself. Can you put a contracting job on a worker? Yes, you can. But we're not going to. So that is uh, something to note. I might take my usual approach of skipping a section and then coming back to where we were before. Probably quite hard to um, explain, but I'll just show you what I mean, and hopefully you get the idea. It's the approach I've taken many times before with GPS, and it has worked quite well. We do have the ridge markers as well, but I'm not going to use those. I think we can go with uh, just looking at where it is, since we are going to be doing it in third-person view. I don't want to do it all in third-person view. We'll do a bit in first-person. Um, but yes, it allows you to appreciate the map and all that. Okay, so we'll skip a piece and we'll go back up here. I can actually see like a line in the texture anyway, so I can follow this very faint line. And that should keep us on track, hopefully. Right, so back onto cruise control and we will just keep going with the field. Hopefully it'll be done in, in the hour. That's 25... Actually, no, no. I don't think it'll be done within the hour, but maybe within another hour. It's going to be very close. We have 500 litres left of seed and we put 1,000 litres in. So if we are exactly halfway, we'll be fine. I can check. We are 63% of the way done, which means we do not need to refill. So yeah, no more buying another seed bag. Anyway, I think we're getting on all right. Uh, we've got no time. There's no time restriction here. so we can spend as long as we want on the job. I've been meaning to take a look and see where the biggest field is on the map, and I think it might be field number 12 or field number 16. Um, it's, there's not much in it, by the look of it. One of those two, I would say. We have the final piece just here. The birds are already landing on the field. And then, yes, what we need to do is press escape, go to the contracting page, and essentially just say we're finished, and we should get paid. We're done. So there you go. It says results. We've uh, been we've been uh, deducted. Well, the the price has been deducted for the lease. So there we go. The lease has been deducted from our 
reward. Uh, we have been reimbursed. I keep assuming it's for seed, I guess. £138, uh, which means we get paid £2,931. £138. Let's just see something. How much is a big bag? Hmm. I actually don't know what the reimbursement is then, because the big bag is £900. So there it is. She now has a fully sown field of oats, uh, which I guess we can see progress now, because if we keep driving past here, we'll see how the crop is getting on. Um, but there might be some more jobs for us in that same field anyway. Fertilising, that sort of thing. Um, what else is there in the contracts then? More sowing, transporting, harvesting. I think when a harvesting job comes up with the John Deere, I will do that. But for today, I think we'll leave the contracting there. Probably do one contracting mission a day. And we'll just have a really quick drive over to this field over here. And probably field 25. If you're wondering about the video length, the reason why they're not super long is because I want to leave some things as a surprise for when you get the game. Especially if you're going to be getting the game on the release day. So, yeah, I want to keep putting content out, but I don't want to sort of give absolutely everything about the game away. Which would be tough, because it is obviously... A massive game um, but yeah that's that's got some weeds in it that has got some weeds they're not so bad that we can't use the weed of those so I might actually do that now that's probably the best option um, because if we don't they'll only grow and then it will be a problem and like I say the sprayer is currently taken up with the fertilizer And, of course, it's a good excuse to use the Matty Ferguson. We've not used it today, so this can be its job. Again, I don't know if you can weed the field with the crop being so established, so this might um, teach me something. Actually, I wouldn't have thought you would be able to. I really wouldn't. But we'll see. Uh, no, you can't. You can't do that. Yeah, I thought as much. So that means, yes, we do have to get the herbicide on the field if we want to spray it off. So we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until the next one, which will be very soon, see you again soon. Bye for now.